Is your dad in? Yeah, yeah. Dad? Charlotte? Yes. Hiya. Hi. Hi. Peter. Good Come to in. meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> This is Stephen. Charlotte's going to be looking after your mum for a while. How do you do, Stephen? How do you do? Please come in. Thanks. She's definitely dying. Yeah. And are your dad sad in that? Yeah. Can I come? What? Can I come to the thing room? If you want, yeah. Your mum and dad? Lanzarote. You're in charge, which is exactly as it should be. Feel you need a shot? You give yourself a shot, okay? My advice is plead guilty and ask the judge for a psychiatric report upon yourself. No, no way. Will a report do any good? I'm not mad. Can't do any harm. Will it help reduce his sentence? No. It might. It won't. Say nothing. The judge gives me X number of years. I do them and I come out. Say I'm mad. He puts me in hospital. And I stay there till I can prove that I'm not mad. And that could be forever. Yeah? Peter. You say nothing. I think I want to raise this with the judge. I don't want you to represent me anymore. We should go get the boys. They're whispering to each other. Okay. Shh, shh. Oh, what did she say? Stay. She's coming. I think you should join your father. Is she gonna die? She hasn't got very long. Join your father. No. The chance to say goodbye. Do you like your job? Yes. You you buzz on it, yeah. Yes. Watching other people die. Other people that other people love. No one you love, of course. I'd be angry too, Stephen. You gave her that thing? Syringe drive. Oh, yeah, that's why she's dying so soon. But you'd have kept it from her. Yeah, I would. If you'd done that, she wouldn't be dying today, you're right. She'd be dying tomorrow. In pain. Pain caused by the fact that... that you love her, you want to hang on to her. I don't love her like you do, no. That helps me do the right thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on, come and say goodbye. No. No. You'll regret it. No.
need it. Come give yourself a shot. <laughs> your servants in their grief and to receive Catherine Jane into the arms of your mercy. You alone are the hope of you. You are her servants. My dying will lock the gates of life for those who believe in you. Forgive Catherine Jane her sins. Something like this. Yeah, get to you in here, get to you in here. Okay. So we look out for each other, yeah? Yeah? Yeah. That means if Dom's not coping, you come and tell me, yeah? The same with Stephen, yeah? yeah. Right? Right. <laughs> Just ourselves. Nobody else involved. Just ourselves, right? ourselves. Hi, Liv. Can I have a um, Coke, please? My dad died when I was 15. So I do know how you're feeling. It's like you go out because you need some company, but then when you're out, it's like you can't even be asked. And everything just seems irrelevant. Because the one person you most loved in this whole world isn't there anymore. What is it with you lot? I've been trying to figure out why someone dying turns you all on. What? And I think it's because there's no genuine emotion in your own lives. So when you see it in someone else's, you just want to share it. So, OK, you can. When we finish here, right, we can go back to yours and I'll open my heart and we'll have a cry and a good shag. Is that how you imagined it, Liv? Was there a soundtrack as well? Fix You by Coldplay or Robbie Williams, even? Fuck you. Yes, yes, yes. 
Be, you see. Could be somewhere remote. Could be somewhere where you wouldn't trust anyone to serve you food. It's miles cheaper, of course. Cheaper and healthier. You remember Charlotte? Yeah. Hello, Stephen. Hiya. I was hoping to be gone before you got up. I'm sorry. I couldn't sleep. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll see you to your car. No, no, I'm fine. No, no, I'll, I'll, I'll see you to your car. What's she like? Come and see. I want to ask you to move in with us. You okay with that? It's too soon. Too soon for you. It's a tribute to your mother. What I had with your mother, I want to have again. There's no greater compliment than that. She doesn't understand. It's not a compliment. It's not a compliment, and it's not a tribute. And to say it is, is to talk absolute shite, because all we've got of Mum is her memory. That's all we've got. And you should respect it and treasure it. And you don't respect it by pulling some bloody slapper when she's, she's only been dead a few months. She's not a slapper, right? Right. You think your mum would want me to be alone? Hey, do you think that woman would want me to spend the rest of my days alone? It's too soon.
tea. Please. It's just a trial run. Right. I've kept my place on, so if it all goes tits off, I've got somewhere to retreat, OK? OK, Stephen? Yeah. I'll do most of the cooking. Not all of it, most of it. And when I do, you can wash up, yeah? No ironing. I don't do ironing, so... <laughs> you want anything ironed, you do it yourself, or we'll find the money to pay for it, OK? Try and make this work, yeah? Stephen? Yeah. Why did you smash up your telly? They were talking about me. The people on the telly were talking about you? Yeah. Right. So your dad was saying you were really bright at school. Why didn't you stay on? You were saying you could always go back, find a couple of A-levels that you like. <laughs> Needn't be your old school either. You could pick anyone. Needn't even be school. College or night school. You could carry on working and do them at night school if you fancied that, yeah? Yeah. Because your dad was saying that you never really talk about your job. Your heart doesn't seem to be in it. So, if you think that leaving school was a mistake, you can always correct it. As if you fancy it. Do you fancy it? You could do German. Your dad said you're always pretty cool. <laughs> yes, I'm drinking too much and I'm talking too much. And you know why? Because I'm the only one making the effort. I think that is unfair. It's so bloody insensitive. What? We said we were going to try. I am trying. You treat her like crap. <laughs> she's pissed. She's just told you why she's pissed. We have to try. Yeah? We, we, we agreed, otherwise this is going to be a total nightmare. Do you like her? That doesn't matter. Do you think she's someone our mum would have liked? Matters. Stephen? You chugging the mattress out? Yeah. Because Mum died on it. Yeah. Well, that's why I want to keep it. Because Mum died on it. Look, it's not just that your Mum died on it. It's also because... But we because... should have spoken to you about it, and we didn't. Sorry. We can't bring your mother back, but we'll respect her memory. I know it's important that you and your brother have everything you need to remember her by. Please, Stephen, for me. Just this one thing for me, not the mattress. OK?
exactly do you mean by never quite there? If you're saying there's something wrong with my son, there isn't it's you. You bore for England. You're the worst teacher on the planet. He's never quite there. Because being in your maths class, like watching paint dry, nobody in your maths class is ever quite there. Sorry. I was a bit... Listen, I don't mind the rudeness. I will put that down to the grief. But what I do mind, and what really sticks in my craw, is the suggestion, no, the bloody bare-faced accusation that I would ever, ever listen to Coldplay. <sighs> you don't look like a footballer. I can't go by that. Wayne Rooney looks like a bin man. <laughs> <laughs> so what position? Up front. There's only one thing stopped me from playing for City. What's that? I'm shite. <laughs> this is mine. Flat? Yeah. Zero? Yeah. <laughs> I bet you wish you hadn't been so rude to me now. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Thanks. Yeah, nice one. Thanks. Your turn to wash up. Oh, I'll do them later. As soon as you did them now, Stephen. Well, I've, I've got a cover for someone in work. When? Eight. That gives you time. No, I've got to make some calls as well. And the calls take priority? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, I don't like that. What difference does it make when I do them? I I'll do them. No, you won't. It makes a lot of difference. Do them after work. You'll be tired. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I'm not worrying about you. Do them tired and you won't do them properly. Also, your dad'll be home soon. He doesn't want to eat his dinner surrounded by mess. Well, I'll tidy them up. It's not good enough, I'm afraid. Well, it always used to be. Yeah, exactly. It's not now. Your dad's just done a hard day's work to feed and shelter you and you're quite happy for him to eat in shit. <laughs> in that shit? That is a lack of respect for your father. More than a lack of respect, it's contempt. It's a few pots and pans. It's not shit. Did your mother allow it? Leave my mother out of this. I can't, I'm afraid, because when you act like a spoiled child, it reflects on how she's brought you up. And I think that you should be aware of that. I don't want you I think talking you about my mother. That's not going to get out of your mother's memory. Everything you do reflects on her. Good or bad, it reflects on her. <laughs> Tea. Nice one, Steve. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. 
Okay, it's not. Any good? Not bad. Sorry, by the way. Anyway, he said I was a racialist. What for? Leaving the dishes still now? No problem. Jenks, come on. Where are you going? I'm taking Jenks out for a walk. Now? It's midnight. I'm fine. Uh, come with you. You won't. Come on, boy. I've been watching that bitch. I've been studying her very, very closely. She's a crafty cow, Stephen. You need to watch your back and your dad's back, of course. She'll blame everything on the illness because she knows you've got her sussed. This is her way out. The poor boy's sick. The poor boy's deluded. So what do you say? You say it's catch-22, isn't it? Things happen that drive people mad. You tell them, but they don't believe you, because you're mad. Pete! Pete! Oh, Jace. Oh, what happened? Lay him down. I got oh, him. Move, move, lay him down. Stop him running out. He just Steven, ring the bell. He's OK. He's OK. Now? <laughs> Jenks? Jenks? Oh, it's just bleeding. Oh, oh, there's blood everywhere. I'm sorry. You okay? Yeah. He's still breathing. He'll be all right. Oh, God, oh we need to Jenks? Get it back! Jenks? Steven! I'm looking for a number! They did all that they could. I'm so sorry. I wish I could have stopped it. Makeup car was it? Uh, I don't know. What did the driver say? Can't remember. So he he said something. Yeah. So he must have jammed on. Yeah. But was he angry because he had to jam on the brakes? What are you going on about? Jenks. Can we get another one? I don't think that's a very good idea. Why not? You get kids' pets so it can be their first experience of loss. You've had enough in your lives. Yeah, let's leave it, eh, lads? Where? Here. I think it's food poisoning. You vomiting? No. And then it's not food poisoning. You're sweating. It's hot. It isn't. You're stressed. Yeah. More than last time? Yeah. Why do you think that is? My dog died. You wish to represent yourself? Yes, Your Honor. I'm willing to adjourn to give you time to find a new counsel. No, thank you, Your Honor. Would you like time to talk it over with your father? No, thank you, Your Honor. You OK? No. It's 
and look again. Yeah. It's a trier. Look, I'll never love you like your mother did. And you'll never love me that way either. But it doesn't mean we can't get along. Yeah? Yeah. So we'll try, yeah? Again, a little harder. Yeah, right. Anything you want to say? What? What is it? When you were looking after Mum, did you fancy Dad? Truth? Yeah. Yeah. Did he fancy you? No. Oh. No. <sighs> what? You think he did? Did you kill our dog? What? Did you kill our dog? No. Oh, for God's sake! Fucking hell! I've been watching that bitch. I needed to watch your back and your dad's back, of course. I've been studying her very, very closely. What are you doing? Swapping. I gave that one to your dad. Well, he likes the fatty ones, I don't. Put them back. What? Put them back. What's the problem? Nothing. Do you want to swap? I right. don't want you to swap, right? Right. What are you doing? I'm not eating it. Oh, oh Stephen! Stephen, stop! Give me a... Give me a... Yeah. Thank you. Have you seen my phone? No. Have you been using it? I've got no. Well, it's all right. 
You can all stop searching so frantically now. Thanks. What is it? What? What are you looking at me like that for? Like what? See you boys. See you later. Yeah, I'll see you later. See ya. All the things a good nurse does. Mopped her fevered brow and gave her medicine and wiped her ass. And all the time she's doing that, she's thinking, I'm shagging your husband. And when you die, he's mine, all mine. And then mum gets really sick, she can't talk, so she stops just thinking it. She tells her it. I'm shagging your husband, and when you die, he's mine, all mine. And then mum's last few days being looked after by this bitch who hates her, this bitch who's killing her, this bitch who's pumping her full of morphine to speed her on her way and smiling at dad and talking about easing the pain, this bitch who's... Can I see you when I finish? Please. OK. I'll okay, see you later. Likes to try her. No, she doesn't. She doesn't. She's poisoning me. Who? The bitch. She's poisoning me. You need help, Stephen. Help? This. going to argue that the attack was justified, that you were defending your brother? Yes. And that's your only defense? Yes. Then I have to tell you that such a defense is likely to fail. It's still true. I bring the jury in. To you. Where is it? We don't need you. Where's what? The poison? Oh, I'm sorry, but you've got to do something, Pete. Look at him! He's crazy! Just give us a minute, will you? Oh. Stephen. Stephen! I'm sorry, son, but I'm going to have to put you in hospital. No. God knows I don't want to do it, but... You need help. Oh, look. 
Look, I, I've been smoking a lot of dope since Mum died. Look, I'll stop that and I'll be okay. I promise. I'll be okay. I promise. <laughs> Stephen! Listen, I know you and Charlotte haven't been getting on very well lately, and that's fair enough. I'm not knocking you for it. I just think that part of the reason might be that you don't see it as a permanent fixture in my life. And there's no need to try. So I was thinking it might be better all round if you give him more of a permanent place in all of our lives. What? You're marrying her? Yeah. Change it. It's the only one I've got. Wear one of mine. Don't want to. It's a wedding, not a funeral. Change it. No. Take it off, bro. I'll take it off for you. You're not wearing a black tie yourself and you little prick. You're also no greater than John Steve's Coburn. No greater than his, but certainly no greater than mine. The only thing that's great is your selfishness. Your ego, your fucking self absorption. She's a slag. What? She's a slag, and you and her were doing it while Mum was dying. Doing what, sex? You and the slag while Mum was dying. <laughs> <laughs> that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's minister and this community. Christ abundantly blesses this love. He has already consecrated the past. And so, in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. I want you to apologize. <sighs> no. In that case, I want your key. You want my key? I want your key. Wait. You throw me out? Stephen, just apologize, please. Where am I supposed to go? I want your key. Because of what I said? But it's true. This is his home. Dad, Dad, you can't I just... want your key. It's all right, Dom. It's okay. She killed Mum. She got a bit impatient waiting for her to die, so she upped the dose. She killed Jenks. And she'll kill Dom. I want your key. Don't eat anything she cooks. Stay. Steve, stay!
You said to come round? Yeah, round, not in. I'm freezing my bollocks off here. I'll let you come in if you promise to go to the doctors in the morning. There's nothing wrong with me. Well, there will be if your bollocks drop off. Okay. Stay. Have you been to the doctors? Yeah. Why? Get in, Dom. 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 Why? Would you like to see someone? Someone who could help? A psychiatrist. If that's what you'd like. No, he'd put me away and I need to be around to look after Dom. How can you take care of him when you're not living there? What was wrong with him? Oh, I can't tell you that, I'm his, sorry. His stomach? How was he? I can't tell you that. I want to talk to Dom. Who is this? It's me, put him on. Can't, I'm afraid. Why are you answering his mobile? I'll tell him you found. What do you want? I want to talk to Dom. You can't. I need to talk to Dom. You can't. Why not? Because he's having a lie down. Why? Because he's not well. What's wrong with him? Just an upset stomach. <sighs> no, just go away. No, I want to see him. I want to see him. No, don't. Just go away. Go away. I'll have to phone the police. You'll phone the police? Police, please. There you go. I was getting pain in my guts all the time, but I stopped eating her food and the pain stopped too. Dom's still eating it and he's still getting pain, so it doesn't take a genius to work out what's going on. Dom. I've got a bug, Stephen. And I, and I caught it off oh, here. No, that's bollocks! She's poisoning him. God's sake, Stephen, why? Sean, why would please, I do such a thing? Why would I let that happen? You and Dom mean the world to me. How could I let you that happen? You know what you've got to do. That boy is ill. Get him I'm sectioned. I'm not going there. If you don't mind me saying, you've got a bit of talking to do as a family. Hey, your job's to prevent crime, yeah? Yeah. yeah, well, I'm telling you, if you go right now, there's going to be a serious crime committed because either she dies or Dom dies. So I'm going to have to kill her. I didn't hear I'm that, son. If you hear something like that, I've got to act on it. And that means locking you up. And what good are you to anyone, then? So you go back in there and talk to your dad. Right? Right? I want you to come with me, Dom. No. no she's oh, killing God you, mate. She's not. Stephen, just please, leave it. Please come with me, mate, or something horrible is going to happen. Nothing's going to happen, Stephen. Look, please, mate, please, mate, no. You're ill. You're ill, mate. 
I'm not. I'm not. I'm not ill. I'm not. She never harmed me. Dad loves us, so why would she harm us? Get him out of the house. Okay, she's not. Mom, I'll just get him. If we can just. Steve, you know. Steve, what have you done? Steve, no, no. I did it for Dom. Don't get it. I did it for Dom. I did it for saving the life for my brother. I stole your prick. Forty-six for me, that's right. I know someone's been stabbed and, and she's losing a lot of blood. It had to be done. Look, it's just like that to him, you prick. If you die, it had to be done. Charlotte, so you okay, go to sleep, sleep on me. It had to be done. She lives. After all you've been through. And you're the sensitive one, yeah? Mum always used to say, you're the sensitive one. Well, you're not. You're not, you're straight. You are one selfish bastard, and she was totally wrong about you, Stephen, because you are so far up your own arse, you prick. And if Mum was here now, she'd be saying the same as me, Stephen. You are one selfish bastard. Members of the jury, are you agreed upon a verdict? We are. Do you find the defendant guilty or not guilty of attempted murder? Guilty. Stephen Cartwright, I'd like to order a psychiatric report on you. It could only be to your benefit. Are you willing to cooperate with the preparation of such a report? No, Your Honor. Stephen Cartwright, I suspect you might have been suffering from some sort of mental illness when you committed this offense, but you refused to acknowledge it or have yourself medically examined. Also, you are a juvenile. In the circumstances, my hands are tied. You will be detained for six years. Take him down. Where's Dom? He's not well. Dad? He's not well either. <laughs> <laughs> 